Hey guys, it's Mark in the Park from the future. Ooh. Before today's episode started, we just wanted to extend our thank yous to Pat, who got us a Tim Hortons gift card because she watches Ooh, the vlogs yeah. all the time. And any, so many mochas. So many mochas are gonna happen. <laughs> like as soon as we see, we're in Zion National Park right now, so we're in the States, but as soon as we see a Tim Hortons, yeah. this is being used. So thank you so, thank so, you so much, much Pat. Pat. Honestly, every time anyone has given us any you know, gift or just support throughout this trip, because they watch the vlogs or their friends and family, mm -hmm. it just means so, so much to us. And especially when people are just so generous and they are supporting the vlog, we feel like we haven't done enough to deserve getting no. gift cards and, um, you know, all that kind of support. Yeah, so we've had, you know, people who have given us money for hotel rooms and beer and, you know, it's just so nice. We have very, very generous friends and family and we feel so lucky to be able to share it with you guys. And it's been so, so helpful. There's been so many times where, you know, we feel kind of down and out trying to make this a budget trip and once in a while we just say screw it and treat ourselves <laughs> because of you guys and it just makes such a big difference. It just boosts morale and allows us to just have so much more fun creating these videos and just being on this road trip in general. So once again, thank you so much to Pat and anyone else who has given us any kind of gift or support along this way. Yay. You guys are awesome. Even the people just watching it motivates you so much to make stuff. You do, so. so if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, that's fine, but you should subscribe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just floored every time this happens, and I just don't know what to say other than thank you so much, and that it means a ton to us. So without further ado, onwards with today's episode. Boop, 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 boop. What? Oh, I almost died. That was, a, <laughs> that, was, that was a telegraph to YouTube because we're in Telegraph Cove right now. So yeah, we drove here from Campbell River this morning, about two hours, just kind of stretching our legs, walking around this harbor. It's, it's pretty cute here. It's reminiscent of like, a Tobamori, which would be the closest kind of harbory, touristy place to us in Ontario. Apparently this fir tree was three inches in 1985. Wow. <laughs> Someone was really singing an old Christmas tree to it. I don't know if the vlog has seen you eating in a while. Mark had one too. <laughs> we are done at Telegraph Cove, at least for today. We're gonna come back and do whale watching tomorrow. But we're time to head to Port McNeil, see what's going on there. We still haven't really figured out where we're staying tonight, but we've got, we actually got a book for the recreation sites. So we've been using that and it's been super helpful. Mm -hmm. We got to actually mark them on free campsites though. Also, Telegraph Cove is adorable. You know, there's not much going on. You see it pretty quickly. But the little stories and like the old, old world charm. There's so many little quirky stories too of like, this man bought this house and then decided he wanted to go to China and then on the boat to China died and now these people lived here for like 
Yeah, yeah, it just like ends abruptly, doesn't tell you anything else about it, and then it just moves on to the next people that owned it. Or like the one where they like brought in the hospital or something like that, because there's a floating hospital, and then it like it could have just ended there. But then there's like a random story of like one night they woke up because their dog was getting attacked by a cougar and they started throwing stones and stuff at it. It's and like, managed to kill it, and, and the dog lived. But like but why? Why? Why add that? Why are you telling me a story? <laughs> yeah. We are in Port McNeil. Just demolished a lot of food. Can actually think now. Now that we've actually been able to think, we found a campsite that's free. It's another one of those awesome recreation sites. But it is closer to Telegraph Bay, so we're just kind of figuring out if there's anything we want to do in Port McNeil. We might get some Wi-Fi. There's like a subway here. I think is the only place where we can get public Wi-Fi. At least that is known to us. That is currently known to us. So we're probably gonna go download some stuff and then we're probably gonna have a chill night and also another chill day tomorrow before the whale watching. Yeah, I'm like ready for like an intensive day, but not yet. We'll, we'll have one soon enough. Yeah, when we go to Cape Scott. Yeah. Which is like in two days, I think. Yeah, so we'll we'll get our fill then. For now, chill. Chill fill. Chill fill. We're on the way to our campsite on this logging road. And there's just this black bear chilling out. So we're just gonna hang out with it for a little bit. Found some deer with little baby, baby deers. Oh. And they're all looking at us. They can hear me talking. They care a little bit more than uh, the bear. We just arrived at our free campsite for the night. This is the uh, Ida Lake rec site. It's a little bit south of Telegraph Cove. And we've got like a fire pit, not that we can use it. We've got a picnic table. It's even got like a concrete tent pad. We're probably gonna sleep in the car tonight. Just a quick little walk down here and tripping on a couple roots. And check this out. Baby. Like this, this was free too. These wreck sites are gorgeous. You have to drive through some like crazy logging roads. But this one wasn't very long. Like No, this one wasn't as crazy as it's yesterday's. It's like 15 minutes away from where we need to be tomorrow. It's amazing. There's like one other set of people here, which is comforting. We like that. Um, it's, it's definitely, yeah, nice I mean, to not be entirely alone out here. But, uh, like, we're far enough away from them that, like, we probably won't even really see them, but just them being there is comforting, so. It's just nice to know that other people use this site, like, frequently and that, you know, it's not, like, a sketchy spot or anything. But, yeah, this is uh, outstanding. We're only, like, 15 minutes away from Telegraph Cove when we want to go whale watching tomorrow, so everything about this is just so good. <laughs> was delicious as usual. Camp <laughs> free campsite is as awesome as usual. Alana's like just getting cozy down there. Mm, it's about time to snuggle in bed and uh, watch a TV show maybe. Definitely. So we are going to say adios. Amigos. Sayonara. Sayonara. Signing off for tonight. If you enjoyed today's episode please click the subscribe button. At the time of filming this, I'm at 84, and I'm desperate. I want to get to 100. He is pretty desperate. I'm pretty desperate. I check those numbers too much, so help me out. 
I think six of them are still me on my various <laughs> Google accounts, <laughs> subscribed. So I get emails when I post a video on my own YouTube account. It's really sad. So please make my life a little <laughs> so bit really less sad. Really, you need 106. I need, I need 106, yeah, for it to, to have 100 real subscribers. <laughs> so with that being said, good night, guys. <laughs>